Good evening, all you Minardo maniacs, and here comes another adventure of Joe and Rob on the boat out in the Gulf of Mexico with some metal detecting and unfortunately some police involvement because we just did a Minardo thing. Alrighty, guys, enjoy the video. Please make sure you leave a comment so you're entered into the first duck race on uh, Sunday morning. Thanks a lot, guys. Alrighty, folks, I'm over here at my man Joe's house next door to Denise, who's right there. And guys, it's day time for another day out on the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and it just so happens that the tide is going out right now. I don't think we could have timed this better. It is Wednesday, the 5th of June, about 4.30. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we're at the Armed Anglers. Uh, it's a bait and gun shop. You gotta love the state of Florida, folks. Joe's getting some bait for uh, his fishing. And we'll be heading to the docks as soon as he gets done that. Not that it matters, but well, just wherever, like wherever people park and party on the weekends. Well, that's where the tour boats go. Well, gang, it's going to be a beautiful day out there. All right, we're just waiting for this guy to take his boat out, and we are next in line. Alrighty, gang. This guy's having trouble getting his Ford up the up the ramp there. Go, 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 go. Yep. Same spot. There we go. Good job. All right, we're tied up. Joe's parking the truck. Already got my gear in the truck, and we're ready to go. Yeah, guys, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Well, it is a beautiful day. You can live upon your sailboat, guys. Come to Florida and live on your sailboat. 15 sailboats docked here. Wow, that's the most I've ever seen. Alrighty, gang, we are underway. There's a little uh, bait barge. Of course, I've never, ever seen anybody. Hey, there's a stork egret. Egret, I guess there is. Seeing if there's any uh, leftover uh, bait. A couple more sailboats. Man, they're real close to the channel. All right. And there's the park, guys, that we've been uh, banned from metal detecting because it is now a historical archaeological site, even though nothing's ever been found there. here at the island there is the tourist boat that comes out and brings all these people that you see out here for uh, shell hunting we are uh, on low tide it's actually gonna get low over the next hour I've never hunted the south end of this island before there is the Anclote historical lighthouse out there and uh, I've got my backpack my waterproof headphones um, I put uh, some dialectic grease on the pinpointer to make sure it doesn't leak and uh, I fixed the scoop charged the machine uh, we're going to give this a go today, guys. All right. All right, guys. We're out here in the water waist deep right now. First time the Knox has been underwater this year. And I uh, got the camera in a waterproof case. All righty, guys. Let's get going. Well, gang, I'm out here in waist deep water. And my first signal was a 16, 17, 18. I was really hoping it was going to be a ring. But there you go. Got it on the second scoop out here in waist deep worth of water. And my buddy Joe just took off. I am uh, I am boatless right now. Alrighty guys, my next signal. Got it on the third scoop was a 19, 18, 19, 20. Again, hoping for a ring. It is a three ounce sinker with a little lead on it. My man Joe will probably appreciate that. Boom, nice little find there. Well gang, 
as big as this is that took me forever to get that in the scoop noco boost plus uh, i'm assuming this was a uh, a booster it's got a usb port and a phone jack i imagine you could use this for power out there i'd imagine this is probably pretty trash by now but guys it took me forever to get this up but boom look at that baby out here but we got it out of the water gang Alrighty, folks, I found these NOCO Boost Plus. Uh, this is the one I found in the water, guys, and it is the GB40. So there is the GB40 on Amazon. $100, guys. It is listed as a ultra-safe car battery starter, portable charger, and jump box you can use for gasoline or diesel engines. And you can see it comes with the uh, charging cables and somebody lost a very expensive item off their boat well folks if you thought that noco boost thing that we found in the water was expensive look at the 72 inch six foot long extender jumper cables that you can plug into it 403 dollars for those pair because they're marine holy crap all right again the next signal also bouncing in the high teens was this knob have no idea what it's from but it's corroded on the other end Hey, we're just cleaning up the golf, guys. All righty, guys. My next signal about 10, 15 minutes after that one. I think this is a U.S. dime. It's been out here a long time. I just rubbed it to get the black off of it. Yeah, I can see the torques on the back. It's pretty thin, guys. It's been out here a long time. But, hey, we got ourselves a coin out here in waist-deep water today. Boom. Well, gang, this is why you wear... This is why, why you wear shoes or Crocs out here while doing this that that is a live sea urchin you can see his spines moving yep we're gonna just set him right back down guys but yeah you do not want to step on that there you go buddy all right and another fun find guys got ourselves a sand dollar but we'll put him right back too all right. Hey gang, Joe and I are back on his boat and I'm recording on his phone because I had my phone in camera mode so long in the water that uh, that uh, it died and died in front of one of my best finds too. I was getting ready to film in chest deep. I was almost up to my neck and I got a great find guys. All right, let me flip the phone back around the other way. All right guys, there's another tourist boat that just pulled up. It is already 7.50, guys. I didn't realize Joe left me in the water about two hours. I went into the deeper water so that uh, it helped out my hips and my, my knees and because uh, they've been screaming at me. So I've been like way out here in the deep water and I did get one really, really good find, guys. And uh, you're going to have to see that on the wrap up because like I say, my, my phone died. But Joe's going to... Heck no, gang. We're not going to wait to the wrap up. I'm going to show you that phenomenal find right now. Hey guys, uh, Denise said I had to film this with a hat because my hair is getting uh, out of control. <laughs> I, need, I need a haircut. All right guys, don't ask me why I didn't film this fine that I got right as the camera died while I was on Joe's boat the other day. But here I am on Denise's pool patio and we're gonna show you the best find of the day that I had and the camera died right before I found it, right after I saw you film that sand dollar. All right, here it is. Alrighty guys, I filmed this whole segment outside on the pool patio and Denise's pool patio, but either in the sun or in the shade, it just didn't come out as good. But here it is guys, this is my best find of the day I found right after that sand dollar when the, when the uh, phone shut down. It is an Apple series watch. I had to scrape the barnacles off the back, but you can see right there where it says Apple watch series six. Oh, this is a much better picture than outside. And these are all barnacles I had to scrape off. And then guys, one of Denise's clients has an Apple phone, so we went and borrowed her charger, put it on. I had absolutely zero expectations of this thing actually charging up, but look guys, there we go. You press it, and there is all the, all the uh, characters from Toy Story. There's Jesse, Buzz is on here, and Woody, and you can see where it says Dom5 and Ingressor whatever that just said there in, in Gressar, Codigo. So guys, whoever had this was a Spanish-speaking person. 
because everything's in Spanish and he's got the phone locked. So we do have an Apple store at a mall in Tampa. So the next time I'm over there, I will take it and see if there's any way they can track this down. But guys, how long do you think that's been sitting underwater with barnacles attached to it? I'm going to do some research. But thanks to my man Joe, who had an adapter, and Denise's client that had this charger. I just can't believe this thing came right on after it's been sitting underwater for years. Yep, my best find of the day, a working Apple 6 watch. All right, guys, we looked up what Ingressar Codigo means. It, it's, it means enter code, obviously. Enter your password to get into the phone. Uh, so, yes, yeah, somebody Spanish. Okay, now back to the video. My, my phone died. But Joe's going to take me to Clearwater Beach from the waterway. There is... There is the Anclo power plant where we came in on, and Howard Park, where I do, a, I got a couple rings last year, is right there. Now that's 20 to 5 minutes by car, and it's going to be literally like 5 minutes by boat. So we're going to head down to Clearwater Beach, which is way down that way. Alright, we're off. Well guys, Joe did catch a couple small ones he was going to use as bait, but since he's done fishing for the day, he's going to throw these babies back in. Oh, we're escaping. that little one uh it's called a raz or a squirrel fish okay Porky. all right he just doesn't want to go back in all right we're off the clear order it's almost eight o'clock again guys already i i had no idea i was gonna order that one all right we're moving now holy crap Uh, that's Three River Island. That's where Joe caught the uh, stingray last time we were out here. We're going to go south of that. That's uh, Honeymoon Island, which is pretty, pretty famous island here in Tampa. Alrighty, guys, we're coming up on Dunny Beach already. Uh, I have gotten a ring off Dunny Beach. Uh, we're going to go under the bridge from the Causeway Road that I took Jeremy on. Yep, this causeway here takes you to Dunedin Beach. Like I said, I think two years ago, I got a, a nice little gold ring there. going to see this is why the wheels came off and why we got pulled over and here we are guys north clearwater that's the bridge i go over to go to clearwater beach guys you've seen that in numerous one of my videos look at that yacht motor yacht look at that thing well guys as you can see right there that motor yacht passes right in front of the no wake sign and covers it up exactly at the same time we go by it and we miss the no wake sign i've never been here by boat before guys the 
so. I've never been here by boat before, guys. Winter, yeah, winter and hope. That's where the two dolphins are at Clearwater Marina. So. Well, that didn't go fun, guys. Clearwater PD, he got stopped because we missed the first no wake zone. <sighs> Rob causes problems wherever he goes. All righty, guys, we've already seen one dolphin, but uh, we were zipping by him too fast, but we're going to have to do no wake to go under the bridge. But, uh, yeah, that's Clearwater PD, guys. Stop by the water police. The grouper troopers. All right, gang, the sun has set. Obviously, we're in uh, idle speed after getting a uh, warning by Clearwater PD. Uh, nice of them to give us a warning. Uh, like I say, I've never been under this bridge. You guys have seen me drive over this bridge numerous times. I will cut that. Looks completely different from down here in the water. Yep. Boys with toys, the more money, the bigger the toys. There's a perspective of the bridge, you don't see that much. And we have a pirate ship dead ahead. There be pirates, Captain. All right, guys, there is the Sand Key uh, Bridge going over to Sand Key Beach from the uh, Clearwater Beach. So we're at the south end of Clearwater Beach now. Uh, the sun's long gone down. I'm going to call Denise in a few minutes to let her know how late we're going to be. I didn't know we were going to be out here at... Uh, 8 30 tonight so stand by all right guys it doesn't look good but it's pretty damn dark out here all right we're out of the no wake zone joe's opening it up coming into the boat dock it's Pretty damn dark. Yeah, we gotta be careful here as where all the sailboats are. Alright, no wake zone. Alrighty guys, we are back at the dock. Joe's gonna go get the truck. And there he is with the truck. Listen anywhere. Thank you. 